And we do start with breaking news as it is a sad day for the El Paso community. Former Justice Sandra Day O'Connor has died at the age of 93 due to complications from dementia. O'Connor was a native El Pasoan and Austin High School graduate. Governor Abbott gave a statement on the passing of Justice Sandra Day O'Connor today quote, saying, quote, as our country's first woman on the Supreme Court, Justice O'Connor was a trailblazer and remained an inspiration to women throughout her lifetime. I have no doubt that her legacy will continue to live on for generations to come. And the long journey from Western Texas Lazy Bee Cattle Ranch to the United States Supreme Court is quite a journey, especially for a woman during the mid part of the last century. But for Sandra Day O'Connor, it is her life story. And ABC 7's Sam Harrison was joins us live from Radford School. Sam. Good afternoon, Michael. I'm here inside Radford School where Justice Day O'Connor actually attended when she was a young girl. This here is a memorial inside the school for Justice Sandra Day O'Connor and showing all types of different artifacts and memorabilia from her both time as a student and the many times she visited one of her schools that she attended when she's a young girl. You can see over here is a class picture when she was a child. You can see here her visiting. You can see her official picture as a Supreme Court Justice and even over here on my left is a picture of Justice O'Connor with some of the staff several years ago and right here is a sign-in sheet for visitors and in this top right hand corner on the right side of the page is a last time that Justice O'Connor officially visited here at Radford School which marks May 12th 1987 and there is her signature and address it just says Washington DC where she was serving on the Supreme Court bench. Now I spoke with the assistant director here at Radford School about the type of legacy that Justice Sandra Day O'Connor leaves for both students here, the staff, and the entire El Paso community. It is uh, indescribable, uh, and there's not enough words that can, can speak to that because it is a legacy and impact that it's a role model that you can aspire to. Someone from a small town, from a farming community, attended a small school in West Texas, and look at the level, level of achievement that she was able to attain, all through good, solid uh, perseverance, good, solid education, and just uh, the willingness to work hard. And so, as, as you mentioned earlier, good, strong role model uh, for females and for the general public in, in, at large about what one can accomplish. And Michael, as you mentioned, Radford is not the only school that Justice Sandra Day O'Connor attended while living here in El Paso as a child. She also did attend and graduate from Austin High School. Now, we did receive a statement from the superintendent of EPISD, Dana Saavedra, which reads in part, quote, we join the nation in recognizing her extraordinary contributions to the legal profession and the advancement of women in leadership roles. Justice O'Connor's life serves as an inspiration to current and future generations of students within our district, end quote. Again, that from Superintendent Diana of EPISD. So, reporting live from inside Radford School, I'm Sam Harrison Woods, ABC7.